Hey Aries, how are you? I hope everybody is well. So this is going to be a general love reading for mid-October to the end of October 2021. It is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs in Aries. And because it's general, it's not going to resonate for all of you. But of course, you can check out one of your other signs. You can book a personal reading. You can check out one of your person's other signs. All right. <clears throat> so... Okay, this is interesting. I We have action and we have regret. So actually what I'm getting here, because the way that action was in reverse, um, although I don't usually take reversals for, for the Oracle cards, but this really spoke to me. We also have regret. So I feel like there's somebody here in this situation, whether it is you or your person, who is either regretting some action taken or regretting some action that was not taken. For some of you, I'm also getting that there was possibly some action that was started, like somebody began to take action, but then they went back on it and there is regret surrounding that. So let's get into the tarot and see what, what this is about. Do keep in mind that the roles can be reversed because this reading is general. All right, so Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the second half of October. Okay, so starting off the reading, we have, <clears throat> we have the world crossed by the Queen of Swords. Let me just get all of them and then we will continue. And I will be taking reversals this time around. Ooh, okay. All right, Aries. So there is a situation here where Somebody is trying to close out a chapter, somebody is trying to complete a cycle or just fully, fully um, begin something new, wanting to close out something that has been happening. Um, the challenge though is to really be firm when it comes to this. It could even possibly be um, referring to boundaries that need to be set or somebody just really being very, very clear in what that goal is when it comes to closing out a cycle. Okay, so that, again, it could be your, it could be your person. We will see each of your energy separately as well. For the recent past, we have the lovers, which was, was actually in reverse. Um, <clears throat> but I, what I'm getting with this is that there's definitely um, a deep connection with this person. And recently, in the recent past, it feels like this has either faded, deteriorated, or the connection is just not feeling as strong as it was in the past, all right? And again, we are gonna clarify some of these. So for your energy, we have the Page of Swords in reverse, as well as the Five of Cups in reverse. So I, I'm getting here that you might be um, cutting back a little bit on communication with this person, I feel like you're trying to keep your distance, but at the same time, I feel like there is some regret on your end as well. Um, a little bit of holding on to the past. Even though it's like you're trying to come out of it, it's almost coming in as you trying to push out of your mind the negative emotions that are attached to this. Like when it comes to thinking about the past, when it comes to thinking about um, you know, how deep this connection was and how you felt. It, it's coming in as you trying to kind of block that out of your mind. Um, for them, we have the Three of Swords and the Five of Wands in reverse. So this person is currently feeling a lot of pain. So I do feel like there was some kind of a fallout between the two of you, or there has just been some kind of distancing or the connection just not feeling like it, like, um, like it is what it was. Okay, and this person is feeling conflicted. And again, it feels like they're trying to avoid that as well. So in the near future, we have the High Priestess in reverse. So I feel like this is, um, this is a message for you to try to be more in tune with your own self, with your higher self. 
At the same time, I'm getting that there might also be some um, expression between the two of you. So that would be communication, like something coming out in the open. But I feel like things are still, even with this, things are still going to be a little bit um, shaky because if you're not coming from a place of truth and a place of alignment with your higher self, then you know the communication can be a little bit off. But I do see something coming in here. So for the potential outcome, we have the Page of Pentacles in reverse. Uh, I'm not going to say much about that. I'm just going to wait until we clarify. <clears throat> Sometimes we get messages coming in with, with, um, with the potential outcome, like it can be more of guidance. So we'll see when we get there. But let's see what is going on here. Let's clarify the world with the Queen of Swords. And we have the Temperance card, the Seven of Cups, and the Wheel of Fortune. So again, I'm not really sure whose energy this is, okay, when it comes to the situation. It could be a little bit of both. I feel like there, there has been a little bit of waiting, like trying to bring things into some kind of balance, trying to bring things into a calmer state trying to find that smooth, peaceful place once again, either within the connection or within your own self. Um, but I feel like it's a little bit, it's a little bit difficult because things at the moment, they seem to be very confusing. confusing. It's like, like everything is up in the air. And so it's like you're trying to complete this cycle possibly of the connection feeling so disconnected and you're trying to either mm, I feel like it began with trying to bring things back to that calmer state but things just feel so confusing that now you're just trying to bring a change to that just any kind of change regardless of what that might be whatever it takes to close out this cycle of the um, of the negative feelings that are associated with this. Again, I feel like what this requires of you at least is to either have um, more firm boundaries set or gaining that clarity into what it is exactly that is going on here so that you know how to bring about this change. All right, let's see the Page of Swords for your energy. We have Justice, the Hermit in Reverse, and the Ten of Wands. You feel like you want to make things right here. Um, but I feel like even though you want to make things right, you want things to come into a balance, it's almost like this energy of making things right is too much of a burden for you to carry at the moment. You feel like... Like it's too much, like it's too much of a responsibility or it's, it just feels too heavy to bring justice to this situation or to figure things out, to find solutions. And for that reason, like I said, with this page of swords in reverse, now we have the hermit in reverse. It's like you're keeping your distance. I feel like you're kind of keeping to yourself. You're cutting off communication. It's like you're deciding that, you know what, like because I can't, this is just too much, this is too heavy, I'm going to just kind of close off to myself, keep to myself. There's no point in even really trying to discuss this. So I'm still curious to understand who it is that may have regretted some kind of action that they took or some kind of action that they did not take. But <clears throat> if this resonates with you, then you will probably know who that is. All right, let's see that five of cups in reverse.
which is also in your energy. We have the Knight of Swords in re sorry, the Knight of Swords upright and the King of Pentacles in reverse. I'm almost getting that this is you. And again, the roles can definitely be reversed, okay? So take the messages as they resonate. But I feel like this regret it's showing up at least on Aries' side, okay? But again, there are cross-watchers, so, I mean, it, it could go either way. It, it feels to me like there is some regret surrounding the fact that there was action taken, which this action actually led to a lack of a commitment. A lack of being able to be consistent, long-term, steady, Now again, it could be that it could be that this is your person that did that, right? That took some action away from being in this King of Pentacles energy, right? Turning things in a way where, you know, this person is not committed or not able to offer long-term commitment to you. And this would be you um holding on to that energy or to whatever feelings that brought up for you, but avoiding them a little bit like not fully processing them because you're closing off to yourself. You're not discussing it with this person, but I feel like you're kind of feeling like you just don't want to discuss it with anybody, possibly even including yourself. You just want this to be done. You just want to close out the cycle. But I feel like, again, closing out this cycle, which does not necessarily mean the connection. It can be, but just not necessarily. That is also going to require some clarity, right? This Queen of Swords. Some clarity and being very, very honest with yourself. So that way you don't have any residual feelings hidden in the darker um, parts of you where you can't see them because they're always going to affect you if they're there. So that clarity is needed before you can complete this cycle and then move on you know, to the next phase, whatever that might be. All right, so let's uh, take a look at your person here. Let's see this Three of Swords. Ooh, the lovers and death. Yeah, so this person is in a lot of pain because this has pretty much come to an end. Like I said, right here we have the lovers in reverse, which I, when I first dropped out, even though it was in reverse, I um, felt the urge to flip it upright because it just, that was a message to me that this is definitely a very deep connection. This was a connection that um, it, it felt like the two of you just fully belonged together and you felt like you were a team. You felt like, like this is your person. So your person is feeling the same way. All right, showing up here with the, with the lover's card. But the death of that, the ending of that, the fact that you are now feeling disconnected is creating a lot of pain for them. So let's see that Five of Wands in reverse. The Two of Wands in reverse and the Ten of Wands in reverse. Yeah, this person is trying to also um, get themselves to feel okay with this. They're trying to kind of ignore this inner conflict that is going on. Um, which is causing them to pretty much, I feel, at the moment at least, stay stagnant, even though they're not over this. They're not over you at all. So at the moment, yeah, it, they're not taking much action towards you. But they still, they haven't fully accepted this death card here, right? Also, let me just mention, we do have Gemini showing up twice here. We have Scorpio. We have... Um, Sagittarius, Libra, we have a whole bunch of signs. Could be any sign though, okay? Just calling out um, the major ones. All right, let's see what's coming up here. Let's see the High Priestess in reverse for the near future. The Page of Swords in reverse. Okay, yeah, see, so this is your energy here. Um, so Spirit is really wanting to point this out here that as long as you're in this page of swords in reverse where you're kind of closed off um, to your own thoughts, to your own emotions, to what is really going on, 
deep inside you concerning some kind of an action here that either you took or that your person took, for which, by the way, there is regret. And there is a lot of sadness on both ends, right? I see it in this person as well. I do see it in you as well with this Five of Cups in reverse also. Not you haven't fully recovered from that. But as long as you are blocking that out from your own mind, it's keeping you from really being able to be in touch with your higher self. It's keeping you from being able to fully process this for things to actually close out, which is what appears to be your goal here. At least for this phase to close out, for things to move you know, forward in one way or another, regardless of whether that be um, ending the connection for now, ending the connection permanently, or, you know, moving things to a smoother type of a place. Let me actually get one more here for this High Priestess. Let's see what else wants to come through for this. Yeah, we have the Devil. See, I'm telling you. Um, <clears throat> there might be some communication that comes through again, all right, but I feel like, again, the Page of Swords in reverse, and then the Devil also, like this, this communication <clears throat> might be a little bit emotionally charged in a way where there's either, you know, some ego involved or somebody holding on to past patterns of communicating where, and I feel like that pattern might even be like, Expressing yourself, but not fully, you know, or um, kind of like giving half the picture and then expecting something from the other person without having fully, you know, expressed how it is that you feel. Or it could be anything else, just repeating any pattern from the past here with that devil. Let me get one more, see if we can get any more clarity on this. Days of Swords. Okay, yeah, so this is all about being completely honest, having very, very honest communication to the point where it might even make you feel uncomfortable. But there's, you can never go wrong with being honest. You know, if the other person does not like what you have to say, or if you being honest pushes the other person away, well, then that in and of itself means something. That's something that needs to come up anyway. All right, in order for there to be balance, in order for there to be some kind of a healthy, dynamic or healthy communication you have to be able to be honest but that's going to require you to be honest with yourself first all right so let's see that case of pentacles <clears throat> for the potential outcome All right, so we have the moon in reverse, the king of wands in reverse, and the four of cups. All right, yeah, see, so this is a message for you that um, these, these repressed emotions really need to come to the surface, all right? I feel like that's for the both of you um, because this person, I don't know, I'm not sure, but I'm kind of getting that this action and this regret might be on your person's side, but it's also on your side in, in the sense that you also regret the way that things have actually turned out. There might be, you know, little things um, from your end that you might kind of look back on and feel like, you know, you could have done differently as well, or maybe you could have said something differently. So the message here is to, you know, fully allow all of these feelings to come up to the surface, okay? Because as long as you, as long as they are repressed, it's going to just lead to the both of you feeling unfulfilled. Feeling like you can't, you can't move things forward, like you can't accomplish whatever it is here that you're both trying to accomplish. And that's going to require some effort. So that's why we have that, um, that page of pentacles in reverse. This is like, it's like a precaution that if you, if you continue to be in this, um, Page of Swords in reverse and this High Priestess in reverse. That's what it's going to lead to. So what I'm actually going to do <clears throat> for this particular reading is get one more card to see, just to get another um, potential here in the case that you can shift this energy, all right? So for this particular reading, I feel like the, the um, emphasis was on you mostly rather than on, on your person. Again, the roles can be reversed. Sometimes spirit decides to focus more on the other person, sometimes 
on the person that we're doing um, the zodiac reading for. So let's let's see. All right, and we have judgment. So judgment talks about um, a second opportunity. But it also talks about truth. It also talks about self-awareness. It talks about being able to make discernments, being able to make decisions. But most of all, I see this as a card of a revelation or truth, being authentic. Okay, and of course, this can be a rebirth as well. So I feel like, you know, once you are able to fully tap into your own self and be honest with yourself first, don't repeat old patterns when it comes to either the way you communicate or the way that you try to handle a certain situation. That's when things can have a different result here, all right, with judgment. All right, ladies. <clears throat> so final message for you. We have the super moon. Emotions are running high. Yes, the emotions are running higher than you think. Um, or maybe you, do, you are aware of them, you know? Um, Allow yourself to feel them, process them, so that you can move forward in this cycle and see what else is um, possible here, here for you with judgment. All right, Aries, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.